Out of all the tier lists, this might be the most important one. The tier 8 premium tank is the definitive answer if you are looking to grind credits in World of Tanks Blitz. There is essentially no better way than to hop into a tier 8 medium or heavy tank and grind yourself some credits with it. So now let's have a look at what are the five best tier 8 premium tanks that you can earn credits with and also have fun with. Remember, this is a personal pick. If you have a different list, put it down in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Even though there are now newer vehicles with similar features, the Camaro remains the primary high alpha damage medium tank at tier 8 if you are looking for a reliable premium. Now the thing is with this vehicle, the turret armor isn't really that good, but it is a small turret, so if you move this vehicle back and forth, you essentially will not be able to be penetrated through the turret. So keep it moving and keep your shots on target. And that is one great thing about this vehicle. That, for example, is the reason why the Barask is not going to be on a list like this. is because it is reliable, it is easy, it makes simple creds. It doesn't have terrible penetration or a complete absence of armor. It is a well-rounded good package. This vehicle does it all. You don't have to peek a lot to get a lot of damage because 440 alpha damage will pretty much do all of that on its own. Just think about it. Three shots and you're kind of already at average and the four shots you're doing the average damage of a T10. So four shots of battle is all you need to basically get a boatload of credits and get out of there because the standard penetration is also pretty solid. This vehicle essentially has everything that you might want. It's reliable, it's simple, it's versatile, it's fun, and it is good at grinding crits. And that's why it's here. There are only two tank destroyers at tier 8 that I would ever consider recommending. One is the Arctiger 88 and its 5.5k gold bundle because of its excellent value, and the other is the WZ-121 GFT, because this vehicle is simply bonkers. There is no other way to describe this. This vehicle essentially makes all of the other tier 8 tank destroyers, at least the premium ones, kind of obsolete, because of its amazing combination of firepower, 3000 DPM, impenetrable front plate, especially for tier 7s and also some tier 8 medium tanks. This vehicle also has great mobility on top of that because it's essentially a WZ-120 chassis with a superstructure that is very well sloped bolted onto it and a gun that's essentially a tier 9 medium tank gun but even more beefed up. This thing is an absolute monster but the problem with the vehicle really is that Wargaming knows that it is an absolute monster and does very rarely sell it the last time it was sold, it was in some kind of lockbox crate event, which is obviously not going to be any good. If this vehicle, however, comes back into a shop for a decent price or appears in the auction and you are enjoying tank destroyers in this game, then this is the one tank destroyer that you have to own in your garage. If you've got no other premium tank destroyer, this is the one you have to have. 2.5 seconds is all the T-77 needs to take away almost 800 hit points from your enemy. And if your average tier rate heavy tank only has about 1,700 hit points, that is quite a chunk. The T-77 is a great vehicle. Now the problem is, it obviously is an autoloader, and autoloaders are traditionally more difficult to position and more difficult to play than single shot guns. Because of the very long reload, you have to be very aware of your surroundings to not be caught off guard while you spend 20 seconds sitting there and not be able to do anything. And not only the autoloader is special about this vehicle, but it also was one of the very, very few vehicles in recent history that wasn't first released into gambling containers. Now, unfortunately, it was first sold for 20,000 gold, which is an equally terrible deal. But since then, it has been put into the shop again for good prices. So not only is it good as a vehicle, it also tends to be somewhat decent in terms of its pricing. And that's kind of also what you want for a premium tank, if it's completely overpriced and you pay double what it performs for, 
it's just never gonna be worth it, which is obviously why crate tanks don't even stand a chance to be on a list like this unless they're actually then sold for real money. The object 252U is old news now. The Type 57 occupies the spot of best Soviet heavy tank, even though it's not even a Soviet heavy tank, which is kind of ironic. Neither is the Skoda T56, which... What's the point of that vehicle? It could have a two-shot autoloader, but now it's just boring and bland. And this vehicle has better gun depression, and it is more versatile. That is why the Type 57 is on this list, and something like a Skoda or a 252U will not be. It's more versatile. It does have high alpha damage. It's your classic Soviet-style heavy tank. High alpha damage, terrible accuracy, very good armor, especially on the turret. Lower plate is quite weak, but overall a good vehicle with a mobility that will get you to your place where you want to be to then deal a lot of damage. Now, if this thing comes into the shop, I can highly recommend picking it up. So that's why it is right here on this list. It's good, it outshines all the Soviet heavy tanks, so what is there not to like about this tank? Obviously, with the exception that if the Skoda T56 is significantly cheaper in the shop, then that is obviously a preferred pick there. But if both are the same on price, this is the best option. I mean, come on. The T125 was my number one at tier 10. Do you think that the Tier 8 T125 is also going to be number one. The most versatile Tier 8 premium tank in the game. The T54 E2. It might not be the greatest at any one thing, but it can do anything at any time in any place. Now, oftentimes it is sold quite expensively, unfortunately, because Wargaming also knows the value of this thing. It doesn't just chuck into the shop for 6,000 gold like it's worthless. That is reserved for things like a Panzer 58. However, this vehicle is the perfect all-round machine. And the reason why I put vehicles like this at number one is because I really do enjoy this kind of tank. And because I also want to give a general purpose recommendation that as many people as possible will find use with. Because, I mean, sure, I could recommend something like a Leopard 1 and a Barask, and those vehicles are amazing, but they're not as well-rounded and are applicable for every kind of playstyle. The Barask needs a very specific playstyle to do really well. That's not really what I would consider a perfectly well-rounded premium tank. But that is exactly what the T-54 is. It also has good penetration, so you don't have to ever worry about firing too much premium ammo to run out of credits. This is truly the ultimate vehicle 